Hi, I'm Andre Witzhoff, personal trainer, certified by the American Council on Exercise and tennis instructor, certified by USPTR. Like many of you, I started this game at a very young age. I started at 10 years old playing tournaments throughout Texas. But whether you started at 10 or 65, it really doesn't matter because once you have the love of the game, that's it. So today we're going to talk about how your fitness training can enhance your tennis play. I've come up with a seven point program that will help you to do that. The first point is cardiovascular training. You have to be able to endure two to three hour matches, so you need cardiovascular training. The second point is speed and quickness. Average point is only six to 12 seconds, so you have to be able to zip to the ball. The third point is sports specific sprinting. If you can sprint and get to a ball, but if you hit it without balance, what good is that? So you've got to be able to sprint to the ball and hit it with balance and coordination. So we do sports-specific training. The fourth thing is strength training. The fact of the matter is you have to have strength to put velocity on the ball. So we do lean muscle strength training and plyometric training. Plyometric training is explosive training to the ball. Fifth, flexibility. If you're not flexible, you're not going to get to those balls. You have to be flexible. The looser you are in tennis, the better you play. The sixth thing is mental concentration, moment-to-moment -moment concentration. I do that through breathing techniques, yoga, and meditation. And the last thing is core stabilization. And that's probably the most important thing because it really embodies everything. Everything stems from your core. If your core is strong, you're going to hit better serves because you can snap into it. If your core is strong, you're going to hit better open stance forehands. If your core is strong, this is your center. This is where your relaxation comes from, your breathing. So today, I have a wonderful athlete who I've been working with for the last three years. He's going to help us out. His name is Jabari, and it's a pleasure to introduce him. Hey, Jabari. How are you? Good. Today we're going to do core stabilization. Before we start today though, I'd like to preface by saying make sure you press your center lower back with all the exercises because that will take the stress off the lower back. Okay, let's get started. The first exercise is a leg lift. That works the lower portion of the stomach. We start off with the lower portion of the stomach because that's the hardest area to work. Okay, Jabari, legs are up at a right degree. Press your center lower back into the mat. Keep it firm. Now we're going to add movement. Go ahead and move the legs. For the beginner, 20 seconds. For the intermediate, 30 seconds advanced, one minute. Again, it's so important to press your center lower back. This way, not only do you take strain off the lower back, but you actually work the sides of the stomach. Okay, let's transition into alternating heel taps. Now what this does is it intensifies the exercise, still working on the lowers, still working on the sides. Again, we still want the same protocol. If you can get 25 seconds, go to 25, 30 seconds. Always try and challenge yourself. Very good, Jabari. Okay, let's stretch it out. Jabari was just pressing his center lower back, so now, now you need a stretch at home. Make sure you stretch for at least 10 seconds, taking the stress off the lower back. Okay, the second exercise is Indian style leg lifts. Indian style leg lifts, legs are crossed. It's important that you have your legs crossed and bowed out. This way you create more resistance on the lower portion of the stomach. Again, he's still maintaining uh, the lower back pressed into the mat. Okay? If that begins to arch, shorten the range. Okay? Let's say his, his, his lower back arches, then he shortens the range. Okay. Alternating heel taps with the arms. Now we're transitioning into movement with the arms and legs. This is the next step to making this a little bit more intense for the core. The arms are a weight. He's bringing those arms back, creating resistance. Again, same protocol. 10 seconds, pardon me, 20 seconds for the beginner, 30 intermediate, a minute for the advance. Okay, Jabari, that's good. Let's stretch it out. 10 seconds with the stretch. The third exercise is a pelvic rock. Let's start off with the legs at a right degree, okay? When we first did this exercise, we went through a full range of motion. Now we're going to shorten the range of motion and just do a little pelvic rock by pressing the center lower back into the mat. What this does is it keeps constant resistive tension on the mat. Go ahead, Jabari. Okay? So notice, he's just doing a little movement, but he has constant resistive tension on his core. He's pressing his center lower back. He's keeping those abs ignited. Okay, let's do a set of cycles. Push out on the imaginary pedals. Okay. 
Now he's intensifying the exercise with movement, pressing the center lower back. And stretch it out. Very good, Jabari. Go ahead, form a bridge. All those exercises work the lower portion of the stomach. Now we're going to work the midsection. Let's do some crunches. Palms are turned over, pressing the center lower back. Jabari's working his midsection. At the same time, he's working his sides by pressing arms down. <laughs> there you go. He's working his midsection by pressing center lower back. He's uh, taking the strain off the lower back. Okay, let's go again, same protocol. And sit up now. We're gonna transition into movement, alternating heel taps. Okay, tilt back. Now this is the advanced way, with his arms out. Extend your arms out and up. Very good, Jabari. Okay, again, same protocol. Let's show him the beginner way, Jabari. Place your hands to the side. There you go. You want to work at your comfort level. Maybe you're more comfortable the advanced way. Maybe it's like this, but make sure you work at your level. Again, same protocol. Okay, Jabari, very good. Let's uh, stretch it out. Now, the second way we do crunches, and this is a little more intense because we add the arms. Extend the legs out. Place the hands behind the ears, okay? What we're doing is we're creating a weight here. This is resistance. If the elbows are in, you lose resistance. Okay, keep the elbows out. There you go. And press your center lower back. So now he has the weight. He's pressing his center lower back. His lower back is safe. His sides are engaged. And he's working on the midsection. Okay, very good, Jabari. Let's sit up, alternating heel taps again. Let's start off with the beginner way, okay? Very good. Notice he's moving with the entire leg. This is a weight. The leg is a weight and it creates resistance. If he starts to move at the knees, like so, you lose some of the resistance. So try and move at the hips, okay? Okay, very good. Go ahead and stretch it out, Jabari. Today we covered core stabilization. Very good, thanks Jabari. We covered core stabilization and this is really just a prelude to other exercises. Pilates we'll cover next. Thanks and keep up with the exercises.